Hey guys, Lady Locks here with the Trinity Euro Cylinder. This one is a lock that will drive you crazy. Um, <laughs> I've this was a full euro. I cut it in half and sent half to a friend. Not the only one having um thinking this one's a this one's a jerk. Um, yeah, this buddy of mine that I sent this to, Skookum Danger. Um, He's really battling his as well. Uh, I know he can get his open. Um, and I think the problem is in the fact that you pick this and you think the spools are set and they are not set. Like right here. Yep. There it went. Um, it tricks you so bad into thinking that, that you've set those spools. It really gives feedback like you set the spool. And then it gives you some, you know, it gives you like a false set. And you think that you set that spool. And you go through and you push them up and they kind of, they kind of move, you know, give you lots of core movement. And then it just doesn't do anything else. Um, so I really want to see what's inside of her. Let's get this gutted and check it out. But here you have it, uh, all spools and one standard pin. And honestly, I really felt like those spools were those little T-pin spools. I don't understand why this one is such a rough little guy to pick um, and why it tricks you so bad. I think it must be, um, you know, it must be the keyway on this, uh, this, this paracentric keyway um, can really play, play games with you. Um, you know, when trying to pick these, this circle right here really can get annoying. If you don't, if your pick can't go through the warding and push straight up on these pins, you ha then you go around like this and it just, um, it's super annoying, but it's also what makes it a little bit of a challenge and a whole lot of fun. So there you have it. The Trinity, um, Euro cylinder. Thank you again, Aspie Lock Picker. I absolutely love this lock. This is one of my favorites. Um, but you guys know, like, every lock's my favorite. So <laughs> this one's one of the favorites, too. All right, guys, I thought I would just show very quickly the, um, you know, what is actually going on inside this lock and how much of each pin really needs picked. And as you can see, um, pin 2 and pin 4 really uh, you have to pick pretty much both parts of the spool on those ones. So those are probably the ones that were hanging me up. Um, you know, getting the rest of that spool up. And also, pin one has some serrations that I really didn't um, notice at first. But it also has a couple little serrations on it at the top. One at the top and one at the bottom. Which, you know, hey, adds to the um, challenge, of course. But here you have it, there is the pin interactions inside of the lock. As you can see, lots of work to get those all above um, to the shear line. All right, that was it, I guess. <laughs> okay, now um, I'll see you guys.